<clears throat> slightly sick Momo here and welcome to the I forgot the number of the episode but I think it's ninth tenth maybe I don't know I'll look it up afterwards <clears throat> so yeah um uh, it's been a while because I've been sick <laughs> having the flu again this summer so um yeah you you'll just have to bear with me with this so um but we are back and in the last episode we ended off by meeting this guy which ah uh, who seems to be our dad so let's talk to him Ashley so yeah I'm not going to do many voices this time because I'm still a bit snuffy <laughs> stuffy <coughs> so yeah sorry if uh, I cough a little because I can't help it but I need to record something so <laughs> I am Richard. What should I do? This is my dad? Ashley. Yes. I've been waiting for you. I didn't know what to call you now. Ah, I don't know what to call you now. Uh, now that you're right in front of me. Dad? Did you bring the dust? Yes, it's right here, along with the cards that you left for me. Ashley, thank you for coming all this way. I'm so happy to see you. What's the matter? Dad? Where's Jessica? Jessica? Jessica's missing. What do you mean, missing? She went looking for you and never came back. I heard her scream near the drawbridge and I found her glasses by the potter's lodge by the gate. Is Jessica inside this mansion somewhere? No. I, um, I haven't seen Jessica. Where could she be? I'll find her. Don't worry. What's wrong? What are you thinking about? Dad, there is something that I wanted to ask you. It's about mom. There is something that I wanted to ask you. What? Why was mom killed? Did you see that newspaper? <coughs> Sayoko, your mother. Your mother was killed whilst trying to protect you and another. But who? Who would want to kill her? It wasn't you, was it that? Ashley. You don't remember anything about that night, do you? I have dreams about that night. What kind of dreams? In my dreams, I'm three years old. I'm hiding in the wardrobe, crying myself to sleep. Then all of a sudden, the doors of the wardrobe open and someone calls my name. Do you remember who that was? No, I don't. That's always the point where I, uh, where the dream, where the dream ends. <clears throat> That's why I couldn't remember what you looked like. Don't worry about it. Uh, don't worry about that, Ashley. That doesn't matter. Please forgive me. I'm sorry to have left you all alone for so long. Dad. Ashley. I didn't kill your mother. Dad. Sayako was... Your mother was... My one and only. When I lost her, it felt like a part of myself went with her. It was for Sayako. She was the reason why I continued to develop another. 
that. Is another complete? That's what the message on the dust card uh, that you left me said. Ashley. Another is the result of a life's worth of research by Sayako and myself. And now that you are here, Ashley, it is complete. Could you explain what another is that? Another is... Hey, did you hear that? What's making that sound? I'll go and check it out. Wait here, I'll be back. Okay. He's left me here. Was that your father? Yeah, I guess so. It seems strange to me. When dad hugged me, he smelled like cigarettes. That's my dad? I finally, I finally met my dad. I feel dizzy. Hold on. Could my father see you, D? No. But he couldn't see me. How come? Because your father doesn't trust people. You don't have to worry. Adults are all like that. Well, um, <clears throat> let's see if we can find some more stuff. So, the the. the <laughs> The mission here is to trigger as many uh, of these events as possible to get the true end. So I'm going to explore quite a bit. Uh, I didn't see what it said for. The initials BE are engraved on the back of the lighter. BE? I got the lighter. I uh, didn't check out the bottle door. Uh, right. Door? The door is open. Mm. Right, oh. See if there's something over. Nope. Guess there's only the door left there. Hallway. <clears throat> and we are almost at the end of the game, so. I'm just gonna wrap up quite soon. I think in a. Uh, about two, three episodes, I think. So. Dad, where did your father go? So we have a few doors here. Um, wait, let's check out this because that looks suspicious. A picture decorates the wall. It's a picture of a moonlit bay. There's a pattern on the side of the picture. Snip. Okay, and then there's this. It's an outline. Ah, uh, yeah, it's an outline on the wall. Something used to be there. Kitchen. The rope is tied to the door handles. The rope is holding the doors closed. Hink! I can't get it off. The rope is tied too tight. Ashley, I hear something in there. Me too. Spooky. Okay, let's see if we can find something to get that rope off. Mm. Let's see. All is black with smoke. The burner is not on. The kettle. It hasn't been used in a while. Pots and pans are dusty. The burner is not on. Isn't there anything? I think there would be something here. 
हाँ नो प्लेट्स आई गेस नॉट दन इट्स रस्टी ओवन सिंक I guess there's nothing. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's check out this. There's a dash oven. Let's open it up. There's something in the oven. This is... It's a knife. Yeah, this might come in handy. I think we can use that for the rope. It's a plain kitchen cabinet. There's nothing in the cabinet. How boring. Shovel is burned. Oh. Mm. Guess there's nothing in here after all. <laughs> um. Oh. Right Next to the sink is a handkerchief. The handkerchief looks new. Hey, there's blood on it. That's ominous. Um, the refrigerator door won't open. Hmm. The cabinet has dishes in it. The cabinet holds many dishes. Square plate. Wonder if there's something in the drawers. Oops, <laughs> didn't mean to do that. Right, we got a dust card. Um, I don't think there's anything else. Just quickly going to check these plates. Wouldn't want to miss anything. Okay, I guess that's nothing. Okay. I think the only okay. thing was the dust cart. Um, okay, let's go cut the rope. Use the rusty knife. I'll try cutting it here. There we go. The rope has been cut. The doors will o now open. Well, <laughs> storage room. <gasps> hey, Jessica. Jessica is in the storage room. Jessica. She's exhausted, slumped over on the floor of the storage room. Jessica, Jessica, wake up. Uh, oh, Ashley, it's you. I'm so glad you're safe. Jessica, I found your glasses outside. I was so worried. You must be blind without them. I can't see so well, no. Thank you. Are you hurt? How do you feel? I'm fine. But I'm still a little dizzy. Why? What happened? I'm fairly certain I was drugged. The next thing I knew, I was locked in here. Who did this to you? What kind of person could do this? It was Bill. Bidu. Bill? Yes. Bill Edward. He was a colleague of Richard's. Bill Edward. 
why Bill would be here is completely beyond me. But I'm sure that it was him. Yes, that was definitely Bill. Ashley, did you see him? No, I didn't. But I did see Dad. Ashley, are you sure? I'm so happy for you. You were able to meet Richard. Yes. Where is Richard now? He was with me up until recently, but he went off somewhere. He went off somewhere? Yeah, while we were talking, we heard a noise. Dad went to check it out and hasn't been back since. I found you while I was looking for him. I see. Jessica. Dad told me about another. <laughs> what? Ashley. Richard told you about another? Yes. He said that it was the research that mom lost her life for. Ashley. That's not true. Sayoko. Your mother risked her life not for the research. But for you. Ashley, your mother. Jessica. I saw the old newspaper. There was an article about mom's murder. Ashley. Jessica, you know that dream I always have. It isn't just a dream. That night that mom died. That's where the dream comes from. Ashley. Dad told me everything. <laughs> Sorry about that. <clears throat> he said that he didn't kill mom. I believe that. Ashley. Mm. Ashley. We need to find Richard right away. We have to tell him that Bill is here. I'll bet Bill is here to get his hands on another. Okay. But there's no time to waste, Ashley. You go ahead. I'll catch up when I stop feeling so dizzy. Okay. Right. Oh, let's explore a bit. Um. There's a wooden box with bottles in it. Large wooden box can't be opened. Barrel. Another barrel. Cabinet. Hmm. A framed picture sits on the box. Okay. Wooden boxes. Barrels. More wooden boxes. Guess there's nothing in here after all. Right, let's mm. just Oh, can we talk to her? Ah, there we go. Right, right. Uh. <coughs> Ashley, was that Jessica? Yes. I'm happy that you found her. Yeah, but Jessica couldn't see you either, Dee. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> yes, I'm a bit tired today. <laughs> You're right. So that was all for the kitchen then. Uh, let's actually check out the desk card we found. Um. Card number 905, Richard's memo. 
One of the difficulties I face living this in this mansion is food. I'm hardly a picky eater, but I'm so sick of living off canned food. What I would give for a fresh apple. When I feel, uh, when I feel up to it, I hunt around the island for edible plants, but I haven't found anything good enough to eat more than once. So I'm a slave to my canned opener. Currently my three favorite canned foods are corned beef, spicy chili beans and clam chowder. <laughs> oh man. Okie doke. Um, let's see. There's another door here. Oh, that's the way back. <laughs> Silly me, I knew that. <laughs> hey. Okay. The door's locked. Um. Alright. Uh. Okay, so I guess there's something more here we can do. Did I miss something? Uh. Mm. Oh, pfft. <laughs> right. A framed picture sits on the box. It is dusty F. The framed picture is dusty. In order to get the dust off. Alright, I have to. Um, does my mic work? I'm not sure it does. <laughs> um, right. <laughs> Let's, uh. Oh, it does work. So the thing with this game is, uh, it's one of the first games that came out to the original DS and it utilizes all of the DS functions, so that's why. But my mic isn't very good, I can see. Good enough. The dust is gone, thankfully. <laughs> <coughs> Having a cold and blowing is uh, kind of <coughs> hard for the lungs. This is a picture of a bay. Let's take a picture. Bloop. Okay, so now what we have to do is to get our pictures uh film bro dude we take this picture up here up up here up here there, there we go and then we take uh actually we can delete that one and we take this picture and we overlap it then we rotate it like uh at this and then we uh, sit it over here so now we can see the password <laughs> for the locked door so it is two three six nine 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 I think I can remember that right so now let's get to the locked door two three six nine two three six nine Two, three, six, nine. Door's locked. There's a keypad on the door. What's the code? Uh, two, three, six, nine. Ish. I got it. Excellent. You think your father is back here, Ashley? 
Yes. I bet the lapper uh, the laboratory is back here somewhere. Come on, D. Let's go. All right. I'd better go over all this again. I don't want to forget it. The important stuff. Oh, let's see if I can actually remember this because it's been a while. Okay, after solving the mystery of the uh, candelabra in the last hallway, we went into the dining room in the fireplace. Uh, in the fireplace, we found a burned essay. That's right. The burned essay about another was in the fireplace. Who did it? Uh, who did it and why would anyone want to destroy the essay? In the old news, uh, newspaper that I found on the dining table, there was an article about the murder of my, mo uh, my mother. After reading it, I remembered the night when mom was killed. My, re my recurring nightmare is of the night she died. The chief murder sus suspect named in the article was Richard. That's right. The newspaper article said that the authorities considered that the chief, chief suspect. What happened then? Who was that person in my dreams? My mind was reeling and I walked deeper into the mansion. And finally in the lounge I met my dad. Dad. I asked my dad about the things that were written in the article. I asked him who murdered mom. He replied, he didn't kill Sayoko. Right, dad said he didn't commit the murder. He said that when mom died, he felt that as, uh, he felt as though a part of him had died too. After hearing this story, I started feeling very sad. Then Dad heard a noise outside and went off to look, leaving me. After waiting for Dad for a while, I went off to look for him. I headed to the back of the mansion. The doors between the kitchen and storage room were tight shut. What did I use to open the doors to the storage room? A rusty knife. Right, I used the rusty knife to cut the rope of the storage uh, storage doors. I found Jessica inside the storage room. Though Jessica was out of sorts and exhausted, she was fine. I was relieved to find her. Who did this to Jessica? It was Bill. Right. The one who attacked Jessica was Bill Edward. Bill is in the mansion. I have to hurry and tell Dad he's in danger. Okay. I think I'll remember now. And I think that is going to be it for this episode. We hit exactly the 30 minute mark almost. So. Uh, I think this is a perfect time to stop for today. <clears throat> so, if you guys enjoyed this video, even though I'm still a bit sick, <laughs> be sure to hit the like button, be sure to subscribe to this channel, um, and look forward to the next episode, which will be the first episode of Chapter 5. So, I will see you guys in the next one, and until then, stay healthy!